Well, right before this newscast, you saw law enforcement closing in on fugitives. Now, meet some of the people behind CBS, CBS's new reality thriller, Hunt It. David, you're on the run. We have nine sets of citizens who are now considered fugitives. Robert Clark, former FBI agent, is the hunted commander who leads a highly skilled fugitive task force using state-of-the-art technology. In the 30 years that I've been in law enforcement, criminals, um, it's very difficult for them not to default back to their normal patterns of life and intimate circles of support. Go, go, go! Lenny DePaul, formerly with the U.S. Marshal Service, is the operation's deputy commander. He says many fugitives make common mistakes. Well, we're doing old-fashioned police work, hitting the bricks, knocking on doors. Teresa Payton, a former White House chief information officer, is Hunted's deputy commander of cyber intelligence. We're going to be looking at circle of trust, trying to figure out who they may be contacting. Peyton has yeah. tips to protect one's blend. digital footprint. Take advantage of two-factor authentication. The cell phone that texts you a code anytime someone, which may not be you, tries to log in from a different device than you typically log in from. Have a different email address for the different parts of your life. As for the fugitives, here's their plans while on the lam. We rely on the, the kindness of others. What's your name? Would you give us a ride somewhere? We're going to send out a letter. We're going to ask everybody to log into this email account and then talk to us in the form of a draft. Should we go? Dude, we got to go. We are two brown guys. How people would stereotype us in the context of us being on the run is a big fear for me. This is like right up our alley. He's the strategic one. I'm the talker. For the brains, too. You got the tech? Double check, double check. And for the winning team, the $250,000 prize. Suzanne Marquez, KCAL 9 News. And you can catch Hunt It on Wednesday evenings at 8 p.m. right here on CBS 2.